Hey guys, welcome back to our reaction to Breaking Bad. Today we're watching episode seven of season four, Problem Dog. I wonder what that's referencing. I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting. Last episode was crazy. As, As they all are. As you. Gus, Jesse, Cold Mike. Cold War, Gus, Jesse, Mike. Walt getting ladies kicked out of the United States uh, by Walt Gus. Mm -hmm. ruining people's lives. <laughs> um, as per usual. Yes. Um, <laughs> we got the car wash. That's going. And Walt, I think the on the Walt side of things, the, the, the big thing of the last episode was Walt and Skylar are once again, not on the best of terms. Nope. So nope. We got the car. She's mad about it. Yep. He's the one who knocks. Yes. She doesn't like that. Famous moment. Um. And things yeah. are tense. Yep. And we don't know what's going on with Hank, but we need to find out. Yes. Hopefully he'll show up. So. Yep. Let's have some fun. Let's start this episode. <laughs> Let's not delay any further. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe and leave a comment letting us know what you think. Also, the next four episodes are up on Patreon right now, including full length uncut reaction. So go join our Patreon and That's let's right. do it. Let's do it. Without further ado, let us get into this episode of Breaking Bad. <laughs> What game is that? This His is surround so sound. unsettling. Yeah. <gasps> Did you see that? I saw it. Oh. oh. Rage. I feel like that looked like not that much fun. In comparison to like just a normal shooter, I don't, I don't know. You have to hold your arm out. I um, spoke to the dealership. They didn't want to take it. What? It's in perfect condition. It's, it's got 17 miles on the odometer. I know. Spent the better part of an hour sweet talking the manager down to a restocking fee. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred dollars for two days. Well, the law says they don't have to take it back at all. Don't tangle with anyone. Bueno, Martin, muy bueno. Walt. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> so you just got this clean. What are you doing? But why? Because he can. I mean, that's not good for the tires. What are you doing? He's stupid. He loves to be stupid. I don't like that sound. He's gonna hit a light or something. Did he mount a curb? Yep. He's so stupid! Dude! He's gonna blow it up? What? He's like, dang it, I wanted it to explode while I was walking away. That would happen to him. Yes, hello. I need a cab. Yes, thank you. The name is White at the Pavilion parking lot on University. Oh, yes, that's right, just south of the airport. H how long do you think that would take? No, I'm sure he'll see me. Contrition! <laughs> what there's the there's heck? Total contrition here. There's mountains of contrition. Who cares? Fantastic! I will. I will messenger him over right away. Oh, and uh, that's such uh, a bad idea, thing, though, uh, in regard to the uh, story, yes, as she said, I right? Like the car was their car, <laughs> right? Like, oh yeah, you want to make it interesting? Great. Now it's blown up. I don't really understand what's going on. He's just an idiot. <laughs> okay, 
Bye. <laughs> now, the only thing is, it's it's not going to be free. Uh, it's a five grand fine, 600 for towing. They don't even get the money three back. Grand to steam clean the blacktop. So bottom line, your little joyride's going to set you back about uh, 52,000 bucks. So was it oh! worth it? I don't need to hear the blow by blow. Just tell me it's done. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I wake you? I mean, I, I caught this thing before it got into the system. That means your record stays clean. The wife never finds out. I've been working magic here. I can at least get an attaboy. You keep some what money is it, there. Frank? Mm -hmm. He will see me dead. And there's nothing I could do about it. All that's left is oh, man. to wait. And we're sure about this. this. Pigment says he needs you too much. You could help me find a third party. What third party? Hitman? Someone who can ameliorate the situation. Let's ditch ameliorate? the so, right? Uh, you talking about a I don't hit think man? I've ever heard that word in my life. Assuming that's still what they're called, I'd do the rest. <laughs> so it'd be a finder's fee, a big one. Look, if you held my feet to the fire, I, I could come up with a couple names. One or two guys west of the Rockies who do this kind of work. But guess what? These guys, they know Mike, and Mike knows them. What are you telling me? Mike knows everyone who does this? <laughs> who do you think gave me their names? <laughs> I mean, okay, plan B. Look, we go outside my network. Well, you gotta ask yourself, how good is good enough? I tried to solve this myself, but I can't get anywhere near him. You can't get near him? Why don't you ask your partner? <laughs> yeah, I saw him. And you tell Saul before you tell me? <laughs> Look, he's my lawyer, same oh, as yours. Oh, finally, he's painting. Every time I go over, over the... there, Saul yeah. hassles me about Mike. He's still scared the dude's gonna come break his legs. He just shows up. Hey, okay? they send me outside and the two of them talk. That's it. So this is like a, a regular thing? <sighs> How close were you to him? Close, and closer than you and me right now. <laughs> Did he speak to you? He was. It was over in 10 seconds. Would you just answer? He said he sees things in people. What things? What people? Me. He said he sees something in me. A month ago, Gus was trying to kill both of us. Does that make any sense to you? What kind of game is he playing? He can't truly think that you'd forget, let alone Gail let alone Victor, and all the horror that goes along with all of that. What about this girlfriend of yours and her little brother? I mean, the man looked you straight in the eye and told you no more children, but that very night, that little boy, he just, he winds up. I mean, Gus can't possibly think that you forget that. He would think that you're that weak-willed. Drop the sales pitch. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, what? what? I'll kill him. First chance I get. What? Dang. Okay. This just got interesting. I mean, it was always exceedingly interesting, but it's more interesting. <laughs> How's Hank doing? You know what? He's doing better. Is he? Lately, his moods improved and he's like a maniac with his pt that's fantastic yeah don't get me wrong he's got a long way to go but he yeah oh hey hey hi walt hi they have to play yeah bogdan was averaging 19 cars during rush Ooh. hour and we are already up to 22 22 actual cars last night I deposited $3,800. Jesus. How much is that? $274,000. Wow. Give or take. So how does Give it work? Take. How do they cover that up? I haven't counted it. Wait. $274,000. And, and, and this is how often? Every two weeks. Are you telling me you make $7 million one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year. Seven and a half, even before expenses. But I can't. Th that this is too much. So it's more than you thought, and this is somehow 
Bad. Yeah, it doesn't no, work. That's, that's not the point. <laughs> Too profitable. I mean, yeah. there is no car wash in the world yeah. that could do <laughs> this kind of business. You have to I mean, expand. This is nine months' work. Expand the business. Here, make an empire. Seven million? That, that could take years. So I'll set some aside. Save it for a rainy day. Save it where? I can't go to the bank with it. I sure can't leave it here. Is this all 50s? Who pays for a car wash with a 50? Skyler, I didn't ask you to do this. The 50s are going to be a problem. Well, that's what this is, problem solving. I never wanted any of this. I've got to go. If you want out, just say that you want out. <laughs> She's thinking about it. That is a hunk of cash. Ryson? What? You're telling me you made this in the lab? Why not? There's not much of it. We had more for Tuco. This is still the best way. How? How is you he going? Go after him with a gun, you'll never get out of it alive. But with this, you slip it into his food or drink. There shouldn't be any taste or smell. Yeah, how would he do that? 36 hours later, a man his age, working as hard as he does, no one will be surprised. I don't even know when I'm going to see Gus again. I mean, if ever. When you have the opportunity, be ready. How? When is he going to have an opportunity where Gus is eating Let something? Search me. Yeah, and where nobody's watching. Yeah. Will they do that? Wow. Oh my gosh, the amount of time that they're spending on this, they're setting up. It feels like a lot. <laughs> hmm. If you see a gun on the mantelpiece, hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. It will be Wrong used later on in the scene. It's my lucky cigarette. Whatever you do, don't smoke it. Seriously. You, you, you know they have a drive through right? <sighs> nah, this is good. Use the exercise. Get the blood pumping. Don't He's worry. lost weight. You're not going to have to pick me up. Obviously, the, <laughs> the physical therapy while, would make him lose weight. Uh, I'll get there. <sighs> Jesus. Oh. Ain't we up here? You think he's uh, uh, investigating? Really like Satellite radio Bluetooth zero sixty and four point seven seconds. Whoa, 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 fifteen hours. Wow. Hey, buddy, let me tell you something. When I was your age, I'd give him my left nut to drive a car like that for fifteen minutes. <laughs> Seriously, how, how how does that happen? Well, we, we were looking at used cars and I kind of uh, guilted him into it. Yeah, yeah, I, know. I hear you. You pulled the old. Poor widow me and my little twubbles. Am I right? Maybe. Yeah. Agent Schrader. Oh, hey, how you doing? Well, thank you. Good to see you. Walter Jr., do you oh, uh, remember Mr. Hey. Frank? How are you? <laughs> well, nice to see you again. Chalk it up to uh, clean living and uh, vitamin pills. <laughs> <laughs> I must apologize. If I had seen you come in, there would have been no question of accepting your money. A DEA hero should never have to pay for a meal at Pollos Hermanos. Uh, no kidding. <laughs> well, I'll take you up on that for sure. <laughs> if ever you're interested in rewarding part-time work, uh, perhaps something after school? Yeah. My door is always open. <laughs> so, sounds good. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I don't know about this one. You, you might eat up all your profits. Well, I'll let you finish your meal. Uh, uh, can I get you anything else? Uh, a, a refill, perhaps? No, no thank you. I, I'm good. Sure. Take a Diet Coke. Thank you very much. Of course. <laughs> Fingerprints. Fingerprints. Oh my gosh. Oh no. He's a genius. Wow. Dude, that is impressive. Oh wow. Oh, but you don't know what you're dealing with here. Oh no, Hank. Oh boy. Hank, no. Oh boy. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh gosh. This is so intense. Oh, they're going here? Why? Oh, I'm. Oh gosh, I feel so, so intense. Far back. I feel. I know. I feel so intense right now. Oh my gosh, because this is his gonna. This is gonna be an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this the meeting with the cartel? And Gus is, or Mike is there just as backup. I don't know. Well, there's a lot of guys here. Hmm. Sup? They're bringing a veggie tray. Yeah. Test. Yeah, he's backup. They need Test. a lot of people there. Oh, and the, the veggie tray. Food. But 
How does he know? If he's gonna oh. take something? Gus is gonna yep. eat it. Just randomly killing right people? You know a how drink, to make there's drinks. Sure. There you go. The coffee. There's so much, there's so much. There's so much going on right now. One in the blind. Got five he's gonna kill down. all of them? Back up out of sight. Put, it, put it in the brew? I'm, I'm cringing right now. This is so intense. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. Oh my god. I don't have an extra holster. You stick this in your pocket, keep it out of sight. Oh, okay. You're gonna be here today, you're gonna have a gun. It's loaded. I don't wanna see that in your hand unless you see me with mine, understood? Emergency only. First car is coming. Oh my gosh. This is intense. He didn't do it, right? No. He has a coffee. But... He didn't do it. Everyone's gonna be watching. Well, he wouldn't die instantly. To pour it... Oh, I see. I see. I see. But if he asks if he wants, like, cream and sugar or something. I don't know. Or a refill. Yeah, maybe. I'm out of guns. Well, nobody's asking you to give up yours. You want to sweep the place before you bring in your guys? I am the guy. I am the danger. All right, then. Bienvenido. ¿Dónde está el resto del grupo? El único que viene soy yo. Wow. ¿Y por qué es eso? Mis herentes piensan que yo puedo representar sus intereses adecuadamente. Tome asiento. Hmm. They thought there would be more guys. Yeah, there's a ton of chairs here. Solo pago y cincuenta pelones de dólares americanos. A cambio, nuestro negocio está concluido. No habrá más pagos. No tienes respuesta. Pues esa es mi respuesta. Es que sí o que no. Ustedes ya saben lo que quiere el cartel y cualquier otra cosa sería un gastadero de tiempo. Así es que sí o es que no. Okay. Difícil modo de comenzar la negociación. Aquí no hay nada que negociar. <laughs> Dude, he's right there. But he would get shot instantly. Yep. <sighs> that was so intense. Glove box. Figure I better teach you how to shoot. Oh. Could be things are gonna get hairy. When well, you're you're giving me a gun and and now I'm like part of the team or whatever. He said he sees something in me. Like what? If I had to put it in a word, loyalty. It's true. Loyal. Jesse is super loyal. Only maybe you got it for the wrong guy. Oh no. <laughs> Loyalties can be manipulated. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, back here. Jesse? Hey. Hey. Long time no see. Nice stash, bro. What are you doing? Did he have a stash? No, he didn't. Yeah, you know, so. uh. Good. Good. Okay, we're gonna get started. You coming in? So the truth is, we can't change the past. What's done is done. We gotta own our actions, but putting ourselves on trial, acting as our own judge, jury, and executioner, that's not the answer. Because a lot of the time, all that judging does is just to ensure that we're gonna repeat the cycle. I'm such an asshole. It's totally hopeless. What's the point? I think I'll have a hit. Jesse, what's going on with you these days? I uh, went back to the crystal. You sober now? Yeah. Four days. Big whoop, right? Hey, four days is four days. You're here. You still working at the laundry? How are things there? Anything you want to talk about? A couple weeks back, killed a dog. You hit him with your car? I put him down. I was looking him straight in the eye. And, you know, he didn't know what was happening. He didn't know why. He, he was just scared, and then he was gone. He was suffering. It was a kindness. <laughs> he wasn't sick. <laughs> Problem dog. What'd he do? Problem dog. Bite someone? No, this dog never... never bit anybody. You pick up the rock, you go right to the dark side. Anything can happen. Hey, no rock that made me do it. Well, what was the problem? Why'd you have to kill him? Watch the crosstalk, please. Maybe it's not the details that matter, right? 
How do you feel about what you did, Jesse? Who cares how you feel? Oh. What kind of a person kills a dog for no reason? Oh, okay. Colleen. You put an ad in the paper, you drop him off at a shoulder, you don't just sit there and talk about killing a helpless, innocent Colleen. animal. Is this counterproductive? I'm not here to sit in judgment. Why not? You know, maybe I should have put it in the paper. Maybe I, I should have done something different. The thing is, wow. if you just do stuff and nothing happens, what's it all mean? What's the point? <laughs> oh, right, this, this whole thing is about self-acceptance. Kicking the hell out of yourself doesn't give meaning to anything. So I should stop judging and accept. To start. So no matter what I do, hooray for me because I'm a great guy. It's all good. I mean, that's not the same thing. No but... matter how many dogs I kill, I just what, do an inventory and accept. I mean, you back your truck over your own kid and you like accept? What a load of crap. Hey, Jesse. I know you're in pain. No, you, you know what? Why I'm here in the first place is to sell you meth. You're nothing to me but customers. I made you my bitch. <laughs> you okay with that? Huh? You accept? No. About time. So much to say. You see any residue there? Where? Here, on, on the bottom, right, right there. It's been a week. What's going on? Wow, you're doing this right I now. Haven't seen him. Dangerous. I didn't think so, but I'll just give it another shot anyway. Oh, let's go, T, bro. Oh my gosh, I didn't even recognize him. Hey, buddy, look at that. Graduated the doorman. Finally found your calling. <laughs> Ooh, little whiskers, Marie. What'd you do? Show your barber a picture of a dog's ass and said, I'll take that. <laughs> Charming as usual. Welcome back. Let's go, running late, come on. <sighs> Ag seen you walk in here. I can't tell you what that means to all of us. Your progress, it's incredible. Yeah, well. Chalk it up to clean living and vitamin pills. You say that. Steve said you might have something for us. Yeah, maybe. You guys are gonna have to tell me. This is crazy. Remember my pal, uh, Tim Roberts, APD detective? Yeah. Well, he's working on a murder case. The victim's a 34-year-old male Caucasian by the name of Gail Bedecker. One night last month, Bedecker opens the door and bam, uh, takes a bullet to the face. Bonafide chemistry genius. He's got degrees up the wazoo, right? Vegan, uh, sandals and socks kind of guy. He's also an A number one meth cook. His specialty products, blue. This is your Heisenberg? No, what I think we got here is uh, Heisenberg's former cook, a line on Heisenberg himself. Anyway, uh, lo and behold, uh, amidst all the uh, hippy dippy nonsense, <clears throat> I find this. Oh my gosh! This here, specifically for this baby. That there is a high volume HEPA industrial air filtration system. It's a $300,000 gadget. It'd be perfect for a pharmaceutical plant or a microchip factory, or maybe the biggest meth lab north of the border. So this little dingus here is manufactured by a big international concern, Madrigal Electromotive. I call their Houston office, and eventually I get through to the nicest little 20-year-old temp. Turns out, six months ago, one of these systems was shipped to a depot right here in ABQ. Oh Who signed for it? Gail Bedecker. <laughs> so I asked my new girlfriend, who this paid for it? This is insane. And she says, He's so good. Nobody. They have no record that anybody actually paid for this thing. So I go back and push more, and before you know it, uh, the temp's gone. There's no forwarding address, and I'm talking to some snot-nosed corporate Whoa. lawyer who's asking me for my badge number. What? So... I take a peek into Madrigal Electromotive. Now, Madrigal is based in Hanover, He's Germany, too good. but they're yeah. what they call highly diversified industrial equipment, global shipping, major construction, and a tiny little footprint. No, in no, American no. Fast That's fast. insane. Specifically, a local chain, Poyos Hermanos. Wow. Okay, so what? Right? Bedecker's dead. I got no line on. It's a conspiracy. On the the whole thing's a snipe hunt, right? Except for the fingerprints. Now I get this crazy idea and I can't shake it. 
I stay up nights staring at the ceiling, trying to make sense of it. That napkin. Remember I told you Bedeker's vegan, right? I mean, we're talking, this guy makes his own fermented lentil bread or whatever the hell that is. Gomi's What's like, vegan? oh yeah. Doing it in a fried chicken joint. Maybe he's meeting somebody. I'm like, who? Like, maybe. This guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what if this guy's in on it? <laughs> I mean, what do we know about <laughs> Gustavo Frank? Dude. This whole friend of law enforcement thing? Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. He's, I mean, he's got the money to good. finance this operation. Maybe he's got the connections, too. Are they going to think it's too far-fetched? What about the fingerprints? Hey, no offense, yeah. but I think you're really reaching. If your guy had his meeting at KFC, you wouldn't immediately assume that he's sitting down with Colonel Sanders. You know, I, <clears throat> I couldn't agree more, guys. And this, is when, he pulls, this is when he pulls out the finger, fingerprints. Frank, <clears throat> blue meth, you know. Whole thing is off the map nuts. I had to be wearing a tinfoil hat, you know. No, he's about he's about to yeah. be so satisfied. Except to pull it out. Can't seem to this wrap his my ace, mind around his ace ace in a hole. That is. My gosh. What are Gustavo Fring's fingerprints doing in Gil Bedeker's apartment? Ace in the hole. Oh my gosh. That was impressive. That was so good. That was so good. Oh, man. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, the joy. Oh, I'm grinning ear to ear. The joy. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. My eyes are like, I don't even know if I was smiling during that whole thing. I feel like I was smiling because my cheeks are... <laughs> Whew. Where are we going with this? I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop together. here. I don't want to stop here. I know. Things are closing in around Gus from different directions. It's over. It's over. How do we have, like, that's the end though, right? That's it. That's his ace in the hole. Smoking gun. It's Walt. Walt. There wasn't much of Walt in this episode, I feel like. Mm -mm. That was his ace in a hole. And, and it's all Walt. Walt did everything. Because he's the reason why the police showed up at Gil's apartment. Jesse's little speech, I was saying there's so much to say here because it's like... I was crying. You were crying? Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, it got me. So sad. It, there's so much to say here because it's like... what? This is what uh, the limits of the English language... In so much of our contemporary cultural conversation on these things, um, on morality and such, like... The word accept really does not. It's not equipped to run the the whole gamut of every situation that you can that you may need to use a word like it in. And in this situation, it's like obviously you don't accept your actions. Uh, we talked about this in the past and in, in the episodes when they were having that conversation in the past. But you don't accept you don't accept the uh, the wrong choices that you make as though they were right choices. But the way that you stop making wrong choices is you you come to grips with your identity, mm -hmm. who you are, and accept that your identity is different from who you might want to be. And then you move in the direction of who you might want to be, right? Mm -hmm. But like when we say, oh, am I just supposed to accept all of these horrible things that I do? It's like, it's not accepting in agreement, it's accepting in acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. And then once you recognize the direction that you're moving in, you can you can turn and go a different direction. Um, that's what the acceptance is. The point is you that you know. stop. The point is that you stop beating yourself up as though that's going to do anything. The acceptance is to say, no, I'm just actively even my own complaining about myself is is pushing me further in this direction. Mm -hmm. So I have to accept that this is who I am. Like, this is why we said it when he agreed with it at the beef, when he like believed that at the beginning of the last season, when he's like, I'm the bad guy. It's like, yes, once you recognize like right now, you're the bad guy. You don't have to be the bad guy, but it does require that you recognize it before you can move forward. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so yeah, but I just feel like our language, like what the guy should have said there is like, obviously I don't accept your actions, but I do accept your ability to the opportunity that you have to do different, to act and behave different mm -hmm. and choose different. So that that's the correct response. And like, yeah, people, and it would be people... like, we probably not have this conversation right now, but if you wait over there, we'll talk one-on-one -on -one after. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like 
people... that's the only way that you really like respond rightly i feel like anyway people use those like accept or even judgment all the time in ways that are like like you said like they're trying to say something but they're not like the words that they're using are not actually like fully encompassing what they're trying to say like people say oh you know we're not here to judge each other it's like yeah no you you are here to judge you're here to judge your own decisions and your own choices and decide that they were wrong and make a better judgment mm -hmm. and the point is that you're not trying to shame yourself you know that is more in a more accurate word of they're not trying to sit in shame and like the cycle of shame even shame sometimes can be like i think that we should be ashamed of our actions but that shouldn't make us a like if we make poor decisions well, I think there's think a difference can... between guilt and shame. Yeah, again, this is where like the, the semantics of it yeah. gets so like... I think guilt can be healthy because it can because it can trigger a desire to change. But shame is more like you lose your identity in mm -hmm. what you've done. Yeah, there you, you go. You identify with the wrong that you've done and sure. you decide that you're un unable to be redeemed. Yeah, I well, it's just one of those things where if I said I'm ashamed of what I did, I'm using the word shame. But I might Again, be saying, just... but I might be saying what you're saying in regard to guilt. It's like you see what I'm saying. Yeah, people um, just use words interchangeably. But like, I feel like the person who is truly in shame doesn't even say, "I'm ashamed of what I did." You see what I'm saying? They're too ashamed to even admit it. They avoid it. Right, and or that's they just the say point. like, "Well, I'm just a horrible person." That's or the point. Whatever. Exactly. That is the point. Is that when they focus more on themselves you say, rather than what they did? If you it's say, more about, "I feel like, guilty," or you know "I'm I mean? sorry," yes, yes, yes. If you say, I'm guilty, I'm sorry, I'm ashamed of what I did, I'm terribly, terribly sorry, as you said, that's a recognition. That's a recognition of, again, that's like a, that's an apology and acceptance. That is an acceptance of who you are. It is if That's an admission. I shouldn't have done this. I'm sorry. I'm, I was wrong. You know, that's an acceptance of who you are as the bad guy. Responsibility. It's a, an acceptance of responsibility. And acceptance of the responsibility is the path to freedom. It is. And mm -hmm. so it's, you accept responsibility and then you move forward. And then you take responsibility for your actions from now. From now on. on. And then you recognize preemptively you're responsible for what you may or may not do. Mm -hmm. What you do or what you fail to do. You're continually so, responsible for how you respond. Yeah, to once you what start you accepting responsibility. Past. So that's all I'm trying to say is, is like... Even, even Walt was talking about it. He was saying... Mm -hmm. He was saying, it's not about a disease. It's not about, a, like, I have a, mm -hmm. some disease. It's about choices, mm -hmm. and I stand by what I've done, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, so he accepts it, but he, he doesn't recognize that it's wrong. He accepts it more than more than Jesse does. Yeah, which is ironic because that wasn't the case before. But I, anyway, all I'm trying to say is, is that I think that that moment, it's one of those moments where words fail, uh, like trite uh, conventional words fail, and I think that there was an answer there for jesse is you know basically there's a spiritual pleading that's going on like are you really going to accept me for, you know even that i have malicious intent being here like you don't obviously because now you're letting it all spill out right and you don't have genuine malicious intent this is a cry for help in a sense how are you going to respond to like completely unbridled this is who i am mm -hmm. and then if you say no it's like mm -hmm. you just have you just have literally um you just pulled up all of the seeds that you had planted right before There's, they yeah. before anything grew because you just literally just said like no this is all bs it's all bs because once you really find out yeah you are going to reject me mm -hmm. you know and there's it's so, like anyway. there's so, always such a contrast between walt and jesse like it's really well flushed out you yeah. know like every time like they reveal something about themselves it's like walter is saying i am the one who knocks and jesse is like crying yeah and like, <laughs> and like asking for help yeah you know it's like yeah like all along the way he's like i don't really want this like i want to change but he just feels stuck and walter's like i love this yep. I, I like enjoy being the bad guy basically you know we're officially halfway through the season um we're over halfway so things are getting real the whole car explosion thing. He's so dumb. Well, that was a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed watching with us. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. 
Also, you can go check out our Patreon. The next four episodes and full-length uncut reactions are over there. And leave a comment letting us know what you thought. And we'll see you next time. See you then.